Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 of Let's Play the Worst Tanks in the game. And we have not left the German tech tree yet. <laughs> because this is the Hawk 12. And just let me check here. The Hawk 12 has a 47.98% win rate on the EU server. Which is the 8th uh, worst tank sorted by win rate in the game. You've heard the spiel before. Let's load it up with all the possible uh, goodness that you could have. Let's uh, let's just get rid of these. Maybe give it two of those. Give those and those. That look about right, guys. And this is the series where I play the shit tanks, so you can live vicariously through me, and you don't have to. <laughs> And I do it in my sheriff's account because I have all the tanks in my sheriff's account. And I have all the gold and so, so I could just put everything on it. I would never play these otherwise. Actually, the Hawk 12? Yeah, maybe I would play this one. I have played this one and I didn't think it was that bad. Uh, let's put optics on there. So why is this guy has such a low win rate? I don't know. Let's check it out. Okay, uh, camo, exterior camo. It happens automatically in this account. Let's just check. 500 meter view range. Oh, that's good. Concealment? 32%. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's play. The Hawk 12. Tier 8. Is it Tier 8? Maybe that's the reason. No. We've done the Stug 4. And then we did the Panther Mit 88. And the pa I couldn't stand the Panther 88. The Stug, well, I think it's explained because and I've said it in the other videos that it's the reward tank for the first set of missions. Everyone's got it by now. Not everyone plays German TD, so there might be a lot of shit crews for people playing it for the first time with regular crews. But the Panther 88, you got to buy it. Tier 8 premium, so a lot of people have bought it. They probably have good German crews in there, and it's still shit! The ninth worst, ninth worst win rate in the game. Is there artillery? There's no artillery, you know, so I'm going to try and beetle it down here and do some spotting for my team. Let's go. Let's see if I can do some spotting for my team. How do I get... Should I went that way? You get to see it live here, guys. Uh, and... Was well, it going to flip over? Or what is it doing? Feels kind of sluggish driving there. Feels like it's going to flip over. Okay. <laughs> it's a hawk. Now, the... Holy... Come on! It's one of those German tanks that can't drive. If you go over a pebble, you'll flip over. Now, there's a guy ahead of me, so I'm going to just let him do that. I'm going to try and take a shot here. What kind of shell velocity is that? How am I going to hit a veiled vehicle with, with this kind of shell? Oh, my God. So that's what it is. Yeah, I forgot about that. Watch this. We didn't... Dude! I forgot there's veiled vehicles. When there's veiled vehicles, screw going up and uh, and spotting. That's not going to happen. Because I'll just get lit and taken out. So I need to get on elevated ground here to shoot. I'm not going up here to retreat. I'm going up here to shoot. Because i got to be able to look down at these guys. Oh, they're pushing hard on this side. I've got no shots. Oh, and it's one of these tanks. When you turn, it doesn't just turn it. There's a little bit of traversing, so you move forward. I could get side sh Oh, this shell velocity is not going to hit anything. So you're definitely not a sniper. Penetration. I gave up a whole bunch of my HP to destroy that guy. Which was stupid. I got one kill. <laughs> the shell velocity is what I think is probably pissing a lot of people off. Just, you can't aim and hit. Because you're used to tanks where you shoot. They shoot someone, and in this one, when you shoot, the so that's just uh, 
that ain't gonna work. Yeah, and I shouldn't have given up my, my HP there, guys. That I wanted to take that guy out. I knew I could take him out the way he was angled down, but... <clears throat> Don't have a lot. I don't have a lot of HP to spare. I think he's gonna work on a different angle here. That guy spotted. See my teammates taking hits there. So how close do I have to get so they're rendered? I don't have the gun elevation. And if I back up, they're out of render range. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking no gun elevation either. Because who needs that? Who needs gun ele- Who needs gun elevation? No! How did I get spotted? This thing flips, flips over when you drive. Just driving is hazardous. Close game. Just don't do anything stupid. Don't don't put. See these guys are. Don't push on aimed TDs. That's not. Uh, that's not smart. T69 there. Enemy armor is hit. Not good. Not good. Is there artillery? No, there was no artillery. Where's that guy? Okay, okay, okay. I gotta hit the T69. I can spot him. See, they're, they're these guys, my teammates, they took this and they pushed into all these. Other... There's no point, okay? They're camping. Come around now. But uh, you can't control what your teammates do. That's not what this is about. Oh, I, <laughs> I'm talking to you guys. And I'm not concentrating. AT-15 spotted me. Uh, guys, you pushed into all those enemies. It's your own fault, you know? It's your own fault. You can't expect... I don't know how I'm getting... Oh, there he is. Oh, and he's got an auto loader. This is going to be... Uh, Scorpion G with me. Let's track him. Let's try and track him. Oh, damn! I tracked him. He's... Ah! Yeah. If I would have tracked him while he was still up. But he uh, got over. Oh, well. He's got an auto alert. Nothing I could do. There's our Scorpion. Our Ferdinand's putting up a terrific fight here. He got the field vehicle! <laughs> That's always satisfying. The Ferdy got the... That wasn't a... a <laughs> I say this every video when I'm doing this live. That wasn't a good representation. Because I played like shit. <laughs> Are you guys used to that? It's Klaus's review. He's gonna play like shit. <laughs> He's over there. <laughs> you played pretty good. You played better than me. And you didn't even know he was there. <laughs> okay. Well, how did that happen? Come on, Scorpion. There's only four of them here. Maybe if you rush forward. Yes! That's the uh, tier 8. He paid for that gun. <laughs> He's going to carry. Three kills. Hey, I got two kills. I did okay. I gave up my HP at the beginning there, which was stupid for that kill. I, maybe someone else would have shot him anyway. And if I had all my HP, I might have been able to handle the T69. Might have tracked him and then... Nah, he still would have clipped me, wouldn't he? You never know. You never know. No one seems to notice the T69. He's, uh, he's had one of those games where no one's shooting me. What's going on? <laughs> Which happens. But okay. Hawk 12. What did I think? I don't know. I did, didn't find it that bad. The shell velocity is really annoying. I mean, your shots... You can't probably hit anything on the move like that. And I definitely... Am I the oh, oh boy, did I ever... 
let's sort it by XP so that I look a little bit better. <laughs> okay, so let's try another battle. All we need in this tank is, I think, is a, um, a map with lots of bushes. Bushes! I wanted bushes, not snow. Oh, we have a Panther 88. Let's see what the counterpart is. We have a Panther 88 and the counterpart is a T69. So we've lost. <laughs> oh, but wait a minute. They have an Indian Panzer <laughs> and we have a Lorraine. So maybe it's balanced. All right, all right. Let's just try my, I'm gonna try and get here to do some initial spotting for my team with the guys that cross. And if someone gets to the sniping position there, hopefully someone with a big gun, we might get some damage assist. Can I get there quickly? Is there, there's an ELC even, they will beat me to the counter, but there's a bulldog. Well, there's, they've got a lot of fast light tanks. I may not even get there in time. <clears throat> I'll be out detected on my way because getting to this bush is easier. What the hell is our EBR doing? He fell off the cliff. There, okay, I've got some spotting. Did anyone go to the sniping position here? Nobody, because why would anyone? Why would anyone want to be here and shoot those guys? Let's bounce on him. Sometimes, sometimes you spot for your team, you know, and it's just a fucking waste of time. <laughs> I tell you, it's just a waste of time sometimes. You think a TD, do we have a TD? A Scorpion G could have gone there and taken 2,000 damage on the way, Scorp, and then you could have relocated, but maybe he's worried about getting counter spotted himself. Oh, are you fucking kidding? How the hell am I spotted? How am I spotted? Does that make any sense to you guys? This aim time and shell velocity is annoying as fuck. And no gun depression. Who am I shooting? An FCM. Aim right center of mass. I don't know where it's gonna go. What is he doing? Like, what are you doing? He's tracked. Yeah. Well, this is a little better game than the other one. And I'm not... See, there's someone right there. He's right there. Or right there. He doesn't want to shoot because he doesn't want to get detected. It is. There's someone right there. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's that other guy. No, that was not a blind shot. But I'm spotted. It's got to, he's got to be right there. He's got to be right there. Do you guys get who's spotting me? Is he right there? No? Yes, he's just too small. You little prick. And I missed him again! I knew he was there. I knew he was there. That was a bad shot. <laughs> but uh, you can tell sometimes where people are just from um, what happens. Where you get detected and where you don't get detected. And I, not that I could do anything about it. The blind shots didn't work. They don't have anyone here either. I'm going to make a bold move here. I could get shit on by these guys. So I'm going to go right across here. Watch this. I'm just going to try. I'll take one up the ass. Oh, my stupid tank. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Mc oh, McFly! Team! There's lots of them there. Yeah. Oh, fuck are you fuck? What kind of a fucking stupid RNG bullshit is that? Make that! Oh, you're gonna shoot me, huh? You wanna shoot me now? I'll shoot down at your upper plate. We're gonna ram them. We're gonna ram them. Watch this, guys. I rammed them full speed down the hill. How much did I do? Hoo-ha! <laughs> How much damage did I do on the ramp? 52. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's a... I don't mind this tank. I got one more. One more game. Let's do one more. Now, I'm not going to switch to... Should I switch to the shit crew? We know what's going to happen, right? If you put... Because look at my crew they, they've got everything right but if you put let's just do it so you see the difference oh before we do it what the con this is the big thing right concealment 32 percent 7.6 when shooting spotting 508 meters unicom uh statistics right there but if you were to equip this you know with uh a fire extinguisher and then you didn't put optics because you're a cheap bastard so you know you, you you don't have them, let's just say. And uh, you send these guys to the barracks. And then you just have a, a new crew. So we're going to get 100% crew. We're spending the gold because we don't care. Because Wargaming's paying for it. <laughs> but they would appreciate the instructional videos that you guys get. So if we put just the regular crew in here. Um, now remember what we had before. Now, now, let's say you're running something else. You know, like some idiot. Uh, you, you might have the... Maybe ready this, you know, like, I've got a wet ammo rack now, so I won't explode. Like, there's probably someone. Now, all of a sudden, instead of 32, 16. Which means you're, like, some heavy tanks have better camo than that, right? Because the crew does not have concealment. That's all it is. So now you'll get spotted instead of not being spotted. And 410 instead of 508. Not even, ma so you won't, you won't detect anyone and you'll get spotted. So, you know, screw this. Let's demount that. <laughs> let's just pay the money. We're paying the money. Let's put the optics back. And uh, let's put the regular crew back here. Oh, okay, we got the oh, good crew oh, back oh, in why? there. Let's play again. You know, guys, I don't really mind this thing. I mean, I, I haven't played very well. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, other than the fact that the shell velocity is horrible, so... You can't lead your shots. It's really difficult to hit anything. And your penetration on the regular round isn't that great. And it feels like it's going to flip over when you drive. Other than that, the flipping over while you're driving is annoying. It constantly feels like it's going to flip over. But I don't know. It feels not so bad. But in, this is the other thing. Now you're in a light tank, tier 8, and your counterparts are wheeled vehicles. And you have no... Like, come on, this versus a, a veiled vehicle? If the veiled vehicle driver knows what he's doing, he's going to get into spotting positions faster. He's going to be able to circle you. He, they've got better guns. So maybe that's it. You're kind of a detriment to your team. I, I don't know what it is that makes the win rate really low. The potato gun. Doesn't render on the screen fast enough. Missed. Shell velocity. Not used to how to lead the target. Uh, you know, just can't do it. They've taken the hill. Just no problem because their veiled vehicle is... Oh, you can't hit. Shell velocity. <laughs> you have to lead your shots. Uh, you're not going to snap those shots in with this. And we have... Do you see what's happening in the game here? <clears throat> We've completely lost this. So there's no reason to fight people in a position of strength. They're up there. They've got that. So you, you move away. Let them have it. No, not gonna, and just 
Okay, you won that position. You can have it now. I'm just not going to make it easy for you to hit me. Maybe I can get some lucky shots here. Let them have the hill. A little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit. You stupid veiled vehicle. He knows not to come here. Just let them have there. There's nothing they can do from the hill if you don't make yourself a target. Just don't co contest it now. We've lost it. We lost it in the first 15 seconds. There's no point. And uh, I can't. I can't. Sometimes you can get some shots from here. So you just don't give them targets. Let them take the hell. They. Yeah. So you've got the hell. What are you going to do now? Just let them have it. That's the strategy. When they rush the hill like that and they win, just. Now, but now our guys have moved there to contest it. Which is okay. I guess those guys got there without taking a lot of damage. Blind shot. Not really doing much here. I can't brawl on the hill. <clears throat> but there's so many of them on the hill, it means they're weaker somewhere else. You cannot uh, penetrate an opposing Russian light tank. That's impossible. <laughs> that was a light tank I shot. The LT whatever, what is it? You know where this is going. You want to play a good light tank, go buy that one. You want a, a good one. Okay, guys, I've got backup now. Here we won this side. Let them have the hell. Well, I'm waiting for you guys, and I'm gonna go lead the charge on this side. And they won the hill. Good for them. Let them have it. You want the hill? You won the hill. That was fair and square. You won the hill. Hey guys, we won the hill! Is that artillery? Do they actually have an artillery? Got them. That's what you do when they win the hill. Let them have it. Just say, oh, you're on the hill. I'll, I'll go somewhere else. Now we'll get this motherfucker. You guys, I don't mind this thing. I don't know why uh, it's uh, one of the worst win rates in the game. You just have to know how to make it work. And you, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about crew skills in a minute. Oh, I would have got him. I would have got you. <laughs> Four minutes, five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I didn't play the best. I only got 1,100 damage, but a uh, little bit of awareness on knowing where to go or where not to go. Don't drive into a enemy position of strength in any tank, even an object. Let's, let's switch it to this so I can move up a little bit. Yeah, I did pretty good on XP. <laughs> so, all in all, I I don't mind it. I mean, other than the shell velocity is really slow, so it's hard to hit distance shots, and um, doesn't have very good penetration, and um, it feels like it's going to flip over while you're driving it all the time. Other than those three things. <laughs> but this is key. This is key. Before we end it today, it's got three crew members. This is important. It only has three. 
So to get it in the configuration, you know, like I've got 500 and eight, and you saw all those guys I spotted at the beginning, and I've got really good concealment, 32%, right? To get that uh, requires so much grinding because when you only have three crew members, look at this, the, um, the commander, he has, you need to get uh, brothers in arms, sixth sense, then he has the uh, situational awareness and the recon and the concealment. You need five skills to get all of those are essential. Whereas in like some tanks that have four or five or six crew members, you know, maybe the radio operator has a, a situational awareness or maybe someone else has, a, a, or you, you could have four out of five of them have concealment and you're still pretty high. But if you don't get concealment on the commander here, only two out of three of them have it. So you've only got 66% of it. You see what I'm saying? The, the three-man crew vehicles require you to grind the crew more than the four or five-man crew vehicles. So I think a lot of people get this and then they, they slap a new crew in there and it's not that great. And even if they get one and a half, almost two skills, the commander doesn't have any of the view range or concealment. He's only got brothers in arms and six cents maybe. So you're you're never going to get more than 66% of your maximum concealment. Maybe you didn't even go for that. Maybe you went for snapshot or something. And and then this thing, as a little turd, you know, instead of having 32, it has 16% concealment. Instead of having 508, it has 420. And it's just underwhelming in every way. And then you're a detriment to your team. So if you're going to play one of these kind of niche tanks... Uh, then you got to make the commitment and get a you got to get a four or five skill crew to have it really so that the stats are on your side so that you don't win just by luck so that you know you have some unicom push behind you uh, from the the special stats that the crew members give you and I don't think a lot of people do that they get uh, bored and want to move on so they play this thing with an underwhelming crew and I think that's what it is because it's not that great to start off with. But I don't mind it. I, I kind of like the little turd, you know. So this is one of the, the worst tanks that I kind of like. So that's it for this week. Next week we're going to play the next worst tank in the game. Check my list in the first video I did, the uh, playing the worst tank. We played the Stug 4. Just watch the beginning there and it has the list of 10. I'm going to do them all because, uh, you know, you get to live vicariously through me and watch me struggle so you don't have to do it yourself. Right here on the No Bullshit channel. There was no bullshit in this video. None at all, not this time.